previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! That doesn't sound like the Petra I know. She loves fighting against impossible odds. When I have to, sure. But I don't want to fight just for the sake of fighting. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. Uh, See? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ah! Uh. Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Come on, Petra. Look, we'll find the right portal eventually. It's only a matter of time. Yes, these portals can't go on forever. I think. Not exactly filling me with confidence, guys. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. 
everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, so much for that redstone hunch. I don't see any. Well, there's got to be some somewhere. Yeah, I feel like everyone's got to have redstone. Hang on, let me see here. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Yeah, it's not so easy making decisions for the group, is it? You don't have to make me feel worse about it, Jesse. Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. Can either of you see where it goes? Looks like this canyon we're in is blocked at the end, so... It's gotta lead somewhere. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on! Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't seem right. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh that thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Did we do that? With what? The power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. 
Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! In my head! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> they're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. I've heard of quiet, but this is like mega quiet. Stay alert and don't let your guard down for one second. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I, I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Over a thousand people, not anymore from the looks of it. Guys! Jesse, how goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? How's it going, chickens? 
Aha, uh -huh, that's nice. Your well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very, very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Just need to pocket these and get... Uh, hi? You? Pama? What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pop Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside? They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Yeah, I met someone. Not, not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, 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 please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside, but please... They're my friends, and they are people. Please don't forget that. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything even freakier time to go good plan with you all the way <clears throat> nope we're stuck you are not from this place hey weirdos back off you will not command Pama. that is silly yeah i don't think they like that a decision has been made <clears throat> Pama has questions <clears throat> You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. Okay, we'll come along quietly. Why would you say that? Just work with me here, okay, Petra? I have a plan. Fine. We'll go along with these freaks for now. Your cooperation is wise. You will follow us to Pama. Yes, we're following. Doesn't it look like we're following? Just hope you know what you're doing. We don't have any reason to think whoever's at the end of this march is going to be in our corner. But if you really think this should be our play... That woman we met back there told us not to hurt them. So I figure we go along with it for now. 
and see where they take us. All right. Whatever happens, we're ready for it. <gasps> what is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? Greetings, friends. I am Pama. We have much work ahead of us. But maybe it can even be fun if you choose to cooperate, that is. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but am I talking to Palma right now? What is Palma? Some might call me a computer, a thinking machine, though there has never been a computer quite like me. My job is to be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful. Coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? Said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time. I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world, and my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. Thrilled. Even. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Hang on, hang on. I, I don't know what you're doing to Petra, but stop, okay? I'll, I'll give you more information. I am looking forward to hearing this new information. Please do not lie. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things for people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? I'm not telling you anything about my world, not a single thing. This is highly upsetting. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! You may not have any information about portals, but your brain may 
room to contain other useful items. Jesse, this situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Big mistake, Palma. I'm not going down without a fight. It's like you told Petra. Someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had. A killer mansion. Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. Olivia loves these things she calls logic puzzles, word problems and stuff. Really complicated. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me... Pama, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say, trust no one. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, it worked. Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you. I'm a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status on roll. Yes, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two! This way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, Creator. We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It, it is time, time to, to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. 
That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan that machines got our friends. I still might be able to save them, but I really need your help. What kind of help? I need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. See you in a few. Splitting up doesn't feel like it's gonna get us anywhere. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I'm offering to be the bait. <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. I don't think that's connected. Oh. Huh, that cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water, we can aim for that. Got it is. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. You think that since Palm is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter, but they're just splatting straight to their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Which might mean... Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Well, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave-in coming up. It worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at the secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palmas chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I am still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. 
If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. Yeah. I... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palmer would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. So you're saying Pama is crazy then? No, crazy is a horrible way to put it. Pama's just very driven and a little confused. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Pama chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just going to leave my friends chipped up, though, right? We can still help them? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Need you help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it used to be. Wow. What a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know, I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. 
Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Come on, Petra, snap out of it. It's me. There is no Petra. Only Pama. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last call for Well, then do it quick! There! Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Pama. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Harper isn't crazy, she's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True, very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. A little weird. 
weird. Good morning, Orber. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You have the best of intentions. You are like a flower in the desert and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. Here you go, Harry. Nice, looks like I'm on the right track. They look so happy. Activates the circuit. Neat. Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. This frame's empty. Hey Harper, it is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Brighter than all the world's redstone, you made all our lives better. So what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or... <laughs> wow. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. Petra, you're one of my best friends. Of course I was gonna rescue you. And I'm appreciative, believe me. I just really hope we get back to Lucas soon. anything to craft with. These might come in handy. 